here, more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Range Rover. Today is a very exciting video because today I'm going to be mixing things up with this car. I've only had it a few weeks and I've pretty much lived in it actually for about three weeks, but I'm going to be mixing it up. I know in my collection video, I said that I probably wouldn't change the wheels, although I might. I might bow to uh, mounting pressure in the comments and uh, DMs and whatever, saying to change the wheels on this car. But today I'm going to go and investigate options thereof. So I'm on the King's Road, I'm going to be visiting Chelsea Truck Co, part of the Khan Group. Many of you will heard of that lot, but I'm here anyway. I'm on the King's Road right now. We've got the premises right behind me, so I'm going to go and investigate. I've got some wheels in mind that I wouldn't mind having a look at and kind of uh, eyeing up to put on this car. So without further ado then, let's get on with the video. For those that are new to the channel or new to my Range Rover Vogue who missed the collection video, this is my brand new daily driver. You can see it's brand new. I haven't even got my registered plate on it yet. Actually, 20 plates are out now, so that is now looking old, so that doesn't have to be changed. I will be putting one of my TGE or T6E plates on this car. However, this is my new daily driver. It is a Bogo standard Vogue, not an SE, not an autobiography. It is the P400E. So actually, I'll show you this, it's quite cool. How do you do this? There we go. So there we go, it is a plug-in, it's a PHEV, which means it's a plug-in e-hybrid. And you literally plug it in there. That gives you about 30 miles of range on the electricity. That, however, is of no relevance today. That just slams shut like that. I mean, I don't think that even locks. That's quite chaotic. Anywho, I have opted for no options on this car. This is what happens when you opt for a Range Rover, Bogo, from the factory. If you just turn up at Land Rover and say, I'll have a Range Rover, that's what they give you. No tints. No big wheels. So these wheels, I believe, are maybe 19s at the best. But a lot of you have been trolling me about these wheels. So it is time now to possibly assess some options. I'm really enjoying these because you've got big fat tyres on them and they're very comfy. You can ram up curbs and you can't curb them. It's great. Anyway, that is about to change because I'm going to go and look up there at Chelsea Truck Co for some new wheels. I've told you that already. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's lock her up. Bosh. I might actually debadge it as well because I'm telling everyone I've tramped it there with that, so that might just go completely. However, you'll notice there's no black pack, there's nothing on there. It's just Bogo. Ooh! 997, lovely. Let's go anyway. As is usual on this channel, before I go inside, I've been distracted. So this outside is actually a Jeep Wrangler Blackhawk and no ordinary Jeep Wrangler Blackhawk. I'm actually gonna open the door here. This is actually fully convertible. This top panel comes off and all of this comes off as well. I'll come around the back here. Let's open this up. So what you can see here, this all, that opens up, but all of that roof there, the white bit, that all comes off, perfect for summer. And then this roll cage here, you've actually got speaker system built into that. Not only that, you've got a waterproof subwoofer for the summer. Now that is a banter bus, if ever I've seen one. I'm just gonna close that, because you don't want that coming off. We'll close that up, but there's some other cool features as well. Again, I've just been distracted. This has got no relevance to the video, but we'll get it started in a second as well, because apparently it sounds like hell. This is actually for sale right now, by the way, so if it's not sold by the time this video goes out, go and get the mix. Someone go and buy it, because it's an absolute banter bus. I may well film a video with it very, very soon, if it's still available. So it's got GTB seats in it as well, and the trim all redone. Let's look at it all back there. It's absolute hell in here. As I say, all the white bits have come off. So at some point, hopefully, if someone doesn't buy it by then, I'll get the roof off and cause chaos around London here. But seriously, cool piece of kit, and as I say, of absolutely no relevance. So I'm actually gonna go inside now, I promise. So coming inside then, this is actually a Wrangler, but with Chelsea Truck Co's wide arch kit on it, obviously the custom wheels, and the roof comes off this one as well. Interesting to note, as lovely as this cream interior is, very Ferrari-esque actually, you could come in here and say, oi, 
I want red seats and they would do that for you. So very, very nice. And believe it or not, this is actually only 33K. It just looks rich for the money. Auto gearbox as well. No nonsense around town. So yeah, only 33K for that. That's very, very good value. We've got a black one here as well. Again, convertible. We've got light bars on the top, essential stuff for London. And we've got a kind of military paint, black painted, black hawk here as well with the full resource at the back very similar to the one outside and again this roof comes off absolute banter bus for the summer with a very nice kind of tan interior there a lot of the oem stuff left in there very cool piece of kit anyway make sure you come check this place out without further ado then i'm actually going to go and assess oh we've got carbon grill there actually i just want to show you this very quickly as well it's a pickup truck defender absolute cash in here we've got tan bucket seats full retrim very nicely done even the box there has been sorted out and a proper cubby hole in there. My one is actually falling apart, so I might actually come to these guys and get them to look at my Defender and do some uh, high quality bits to it as well. We've got wheels on there from these guys and around the front. Car number plate, really, really cool. All car made bits. What a lot of people don't know, these are actually Land Rover approved. They're done with Land Rover tolerances and also official Land Rover center caps as well. Really cool and something that I'm going to be putting on mine. So when I get the wheels done on mine, I'm actually going to go for Land Rover center caps as well. Very cool bit of kit. I'm very tempted by this actually. So then wheel options, ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably going to go for 23s. These then, and I want you to get in the comments at this point, let me know which you think will suit the car best and in which color. So this is very much audience participation at this point. Get your fingers in the comments. So these are called the RS and these are the different finishes we've got. We've got a very aggressive bronze there. And we've got what's called shadow chrome up there. Now my preference would be probably silver to go with my car at the moment, because I'm not gonna de-chrome it or any of that nonsense. Or shadow chrome. I do really, really like the RS. So all these wheels are available on the website as well. So make sure you go and hit the website, get in the pot, apologies, very busy here. So we've also got the RS's in black at the bottom there. And then we've got these, these are called pace car wheels. So again, these are on the site. I really, really like this design. And you've got styling cues from Land Rover there as well with this little bit. Very nice bits of kit. And also, you've got Range Rover center caps there. That's one of the finishes with silver on the front, kind of satin black in the background. We've got, I think, shadow chrome there. And also a bit more of a chrome finish up the top there. I am leaning currently to either these or these. Again, audience participation, please. Please let me know what you think of these. These are the pace cars. So get in the comments and tell me whether or not you like the pace car wheels and in what finish, please. Also, we've got these. These are called the Type 52s. These are also available in 23 inches. Very sporty, a bit of concave to them. I think the ones for the Range Rover have slightly less concave to them. I'm not so sure about these on a bog standard Vogue. I think on an SVR they look amazing, but on a Bogo Vogue, not so sure. Again though, this is kind of the anthracite um, shadow chrome type finish. So we've also got Type 25s here in a black finish. I do actually really, really like these. These look very OEM as well. So these are definitely on the list. Although most of you be shouting, get black wheels. I don't really think I'll be getting black wheels, so it'll probably be shadow chrome or chrome. Again, get in the comments. If you like the Type 25s, do let me know. And up the top there, we've got what's called 600 LEs. Those have a really nice OEM look to them as well, and they would be probably the finish I would go for. Again, let me know in the comments. I do actually really like those. Very nice bits of kit and would definitely suit a Bogo Vogue. Those are called the 600 LEs anyway, so get in the comments. Let me know what you think of those probably going to grab the set that I like the most now and go and put them up next to the car. Right then, by the power of YouTube, one of these wheels is now in the boot. I did not film the process getting this from the shop to here. But anyway, I have an assistant on hand. This is James, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're coming into Chelsea Truck Co or Khan for that matter, also James, he's about. He'll be there very friendly and uh, way more helpful than me. But this is, this is James anyway. So if you email in or call, it's likely you'll get this chap on the other end of the phone. Anyway, James, uh, <laughs> you didn't realise you were supposed to be doing this, but... Are you able to lift that up and then we can put it next to the car and see how it's going to look? Sorry about this. It's a lightweight wheel. It is a lightweight wheel, yep. Hopefully you've been on the old uh, LDNM cutting guide there, sir. <laughs> so you want to just tee that up and I'll try not to get run over. Sorry, Mr. Uberman. Whoa! Yeah, they actually look like cash, to be fair. That's actually worked remarkably well. <laughs> that works very well because you're um, camouflaged with the car as well. Yeah, that looks sick. So that's the original one. And that's, I think we found our wheel, sir. I'm very happy with those. It looks OEM and it matches, thank you very much. You can um, put that back on the flat pack on the back there. But it matches the chrome round the car. As I say, that plate actually really annoys me. So that is going, but it matches way more than these, uh, these monstrosities here. 
So I'm very pleased with that. So this is then, what do we say this wheel was called again, sir? The pace car wheel. The pace car wheel. So we've got this kind of silver finish on the front here and then inside is a slightly darker anthracite, which I think is very subtle and a very nice tone change, adds a bit of detail. And we've got OEM Range Rover caps there as well. And because of the manufacturing process, as I said, they are actually Land Rover approved. Is it approved, certified? What's approved, the word? Certified, yeah. Certified, approved, all the rest of it. So most alloy wheels are out there are not. These ones are very, very cool. And it's just a nice little uh, feature. And you've got the little uh, Con logo on there as well. Very cool, I'm happy. What's the process now? Go and find some tires, I guess. And, uh, yeah, find some tires. Uh, crack on. Wonderful. Yeah, great. Very good. That's that then. Wheels decided. I'm actually going to have to go and return that, but I'm not going to film it because it's going to be very undignified. Make sure you go and follow Project Khan on Instagram. And if you're on the King's Road, especially on weekends, pop in, have a look around because there's loads more that I didn't bother showing you. James will be in there as well. Sorry about this, mate. I'm actually stitching right. you up here. No but make sure you pop in anyways. On the King's Road, Chelsea, if you don't know about that, just put it in Google and go and pop in. Great bunch, really, really friendly, really helpful. And the sky's the limit, really. If you want a really bespoke solution or sort of a bespoke design to anything SUV related or anything for that matter, do pop in. Anyway, for now then, I'm going to get this sorted. I'm going to get some tyres. And the next video you see with the Vogue will be with my plate on it, the wheels on, and a big reveal, probably on the King's Road at some point. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.